All right, first and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Koho Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And Shalom to you, sincere Akim, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. Uh, and with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. Lord's willing, it, it'll be edifying. Um, shouldn't be too long. Just got a couple scriptures. And uh, I'm, I'm going to play, I might, might play the whole video, but it, it's just like a... a a, a little clip, a little segment of the video that I really want to um, spotlight, okay? Um, and this video, um, I'm going to probably title it something along of the line. Well, I don't know what I'm going to title it, but it, this is this video is really for, for you um, scoffers that think the famine of the word isn't going to happen. That it Because we we're like a broken record, starting from the head apostle, Elder Tahar, on down, over and over. We're telling you to seek the Lord while he may be found. We're telling you that that horrible times are going to befall this place, Babylon the Great, okay? That they're going to lock the internet down, you know, that martial law, you know, things of that nature, you know, because you got some some uh, camps or some, uh, some uh, different Israelite groups, right, which are teaching lies, you know, not teaching the whole truth, you know, telling you that you're, you're not, con that there, is gonna, there isn't going to be any Jacob trouble. But there, but hey, there is, man. A time is coming upon the face of the earth like never, never before, man. Okay, so now is this, now is the time to really crack down and seek the Lord, man. All right. But anyway, I was watching the news as usual, you know, this morning, and um, this clip, like I told you, every morning I watch the news, man. I throw up prayers and then I watch the news, and this clip caught my eye, and uh, hey, that's what the, that's what this lesson is going to be about. All right. So anyway, this is off of RT, right? This is from today, September 28th, 2019. It says, we are suffering. It says, hundreds protest in Kashmir as Modi and Khan make their UNGA addresses. Okay. I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, so, I, you know, I see something over here. It says something about, you know, curfew. So it must mean they're going to, I'm, I'm going to look further into it. Um, at when I get when at when I'm through with this video, which as you guys should also do, like I, I would tell you guys, search things out for yourself, you know, look things up for yourself, you know. Um, but but this video is about, like I said, you're gonna see a, something that was written on the what's going on over there, and the matter of fact, this right here just is ties right into it. The curfews, I could already imagine. I already have an idea what's going on, because it's just like the Lord said, man. If you're measuring the time diligently within itself, you could see clearly. Haiti, they're protesting in Haiti. Um, like I said, all over, people are in an uproar. Okay, because like we always say, and what is the what is the title of this video? We are suffering. All right, as the scripture said, when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. Man, all right, all right. The whole earth is is, is out of course. The whole earth mourneth, man, mourneth, man. Okay, you know. But anyways, let, let's let because this this video doesn't need to be long, man. Let's let's just jump into it, and I bang these scriptures out, and I shut it out, shut it down, because I want to do some further research on what exactly is going on over there. All right, and we know these are heathens, right? But but remember, Israel is scattered, man. So I, I beg to say, we got some jakes over there, because we're, we're, we're where's the sands of the sea, you know? You know, we got the Israelite foreigners, you know, we, we, we got it. We're scattered amongst all the nations. So I would I beg to say that the ones catching hell over there a lot of time, probably a Jake, man, you know. But anyway, um, it says uh, we are suffering it's hundreds protests in Kashmir as Modi and Khan make their U make their UNGA addresses off of RT. OK, so let's play the video. Um, let's go and make it large. The lock, man. The signs, that's what... Uh, the signs is what I want you, you, you all to pay attention to. Matter of fact, let me, let me nod out, let me... To lock it. Let me back it up. It's the signs that I want you guys to see. Okay? Because for you, you naysayers, you see what it says? It says mobile phones and internet services are permanently blocked. Okay? Let me see. You see? This is in in Kashmir. Okay? 
So the and this isn't the first time this has happened. They've done it in um I've I've noticed they've done it in like um they've done it in Africa before. Some of them when they've been when in, I forget the exactly the certain countries, but they've locked the internet down. That 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 capability is there, man. Like China and stuff, they have the ability to to to, to completely shut the internet down. All right, and we're telling you there there is going to come a time, and we're drastically approaching that time. They're going to demonize the men of the Lord. They're going to deem us terrorists. They're going to demonize, you know, the, the, the truth is going to, you know, it's going to be, um, uh, how, how to put it? We're going to be deemed a terrorist, man, for, for, for pushing this truth, okay? We're not going to be, it's not going to be easily accessible, okay? But anyway, like I said, it's, it's, it's very possible. We end them to everything the Lord said, it, uh, uh, we end them times. The missiles, the wasters created already. You know, that man of sin has already um, been revealed, you know. He's, he's already sealing his elect, the unicorn. Every, everything has been made every way in that time. The end is made manifest, man, okay? It ain't no fucking 20, 30 years, 60 years. We No, we close. No man knoweth the hour, but we know. We, we, we can see we, we're getting close. Earthquakes happening in death that, uh, more and more. If you're watching the news, it's so much if uh, you can't even keep up if you're actually paying attention. OK. But anyway, um, like I said, this is what I'm not even going to play no more this video. There's no need to. OK. Like I said, they out there protesting. I'm, I'm going to do some further research. I guess there's curfew now. So that means that's martial law. OK. And it's coming to America. It's spreading like a virus, man. That's the spirit. Because it's, it's the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai doing it. Well, uh, ultimately, it's ultimately Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? But we know it's a wicked elite. They have an agenda. Order out of chaos, man. Okay? But anyway, let's let's hit the scriptures, man. Um, the, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump back to 2nd Ezra. Let me hit these first. Um, this is Amos chapter 8 and 11. I'm going to get straight to the point. It's not, you know, we like broken records, man. Okay? It says, Amos 8 and 11, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, because there is a famine of bread coming, okay? The trucks are going to stop rolling, the, you, you know, the supermarkets only have so much food, like maybe like a week or two of food. You see any little so-called catastrophe or, 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 or natural disaster hit, hurricane or, 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 or something like that. Or, or, you know, something like that hit the, 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 the stores is out of water and shit. Okay, so imagine when something really pops off. When the gas prices are sky high, you know. When, you know, when all hell is breaking loose. Okay, there is going to be a famine. But, but, but also, there is also going to be a famine of the word. Okay. And you're going to be looking for answer. Let me let's look. Let me let the scripture speak, man. It says, Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh. All right. And what, what did the Lord say? His word doesn't go out void, man. OK. He's not a man that he should lie. OK. So these people that are that, that are that are telling you smooth things. Hey, come on. They telling you smooth things. All right. We're going to give you the un uh, the, the un, 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 uh, unfiltered raw truth here, man. OK. All right. Because what if we don't, the blood is on our hands, man. OK. It says, so behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. Okay. And how do you hear the words of the Lord Yahweh? Through his men, his prophets. He reveals his, his secrets unto his prophets. All right. And where, where are his men found? On the highways and the byways and on the unicorn. Okay. Prophesying. Okay. Warning you people, telling you these things that are going to happen before it happens, okay? Telling you to repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But what? The kingdom is not going to come in peacefully and all, you know? It's going to come in with much tribulation, man. All right? Violence, man. Okay? The Lord is a, the, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a man of war, man. Okay? And right, he's pissed. All right? It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea. And from and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh, and shall not find it. All right. 
because you're going to remember these videos, the, all the things that we've said. It's going to be vivid in your mind, and you're going to be seeking uh, wisdom and uh, some some wisdom and knowledge, some stability for all the hell that's fallen upon you when you're seeing your children pining away, starving. Okay. All right. When 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 you when when, when you're going to be come with, tested with that ultimate test, which is that RFID microchip. The hour of temptation. You're gonna be your children are gonna be starving. You're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be like, damn, I should should I just take it? You know, your mind gonna be playing tricks on you. Like the elders been bringing out, you might say, oh, I, I know, I know they said not to take it, but maybe I could take it and then pull it out. You know, the demons gonna be fucking with you heavy, and you you ain't been rooted, you ain't been grounded, you ain't been seeking the Lord. That hedge ain't gonna be around you. you okay, you ain't gonna have no stability. All right, so now is the time to get right, okay? Anyway, let's move on. Jeremiah 30 and 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it, all right? It's a time like never before, worse than the flood, worse than 70 AD, worse than slavery, okay? Worse than getting buck break, worse than being on them slave ships, a time like not none ever, okay? It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? But he shall be saved out of it. And he's the only one that's going to be saved. The elect. And the, and the believers. The one third. The men, women, and children. Okay? But two thirds are going to be destroyed. Okay? And the mother nations, they damn sure ain't got a, the, the, they damn sure ain't got a, a hope. Alright? Or they better just hope the Israelites can come back in the kingdom, <laughs> you know? That's the only hope they have, all right? It says, Alas, for that day is good. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, all right? But, hey, when you're starting to see it, we, we're approaching it bit by bit, gradually. And it hasn't really hit Babylon yet, but you could see it, all right? So um, I'm going to end it with this scripture here. Uh, I might jump around. I don't know. I'm going to go into Rakal Dash as usual. Um, but I, I, might, I, might read, I, might read me, I might read majority of it. I don't know. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15. Okay. Let me um, go back to, to refresh your memory. Okay. This is, this, this is, like I said, off of RT. I mean, I'm going to actually play some more. Play this video, man. But remember the sign. It says mobile phones and internet services are permanently permanently blocked. Okay? It says we are suffering. Alright? And that's what you see in uproars of the people all over, man. Haiti, you know, all over. I think, I, I was just watching, I think it's like the 46th, 47th week of the Yellow Vest in France. Hong Kong, they still going. You know, it's just like the Lord said, man. And, and just like the scripture said, as in the days of Noah, as in the days of Noah, man, they were given to marriage, you know, <laughs> in Mary. You see, they ain't paying attention. That's why the Lord going to catch them like a thief in the night. You can clearly see we in them times. It's, 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 it's evident. It's obvious. Okay. You get the idea. But that's what they do a lot. Anytime some major shit happens, they, they a lot of those uh, countries are blocking the internet, man. So it's highly feasible. It's highly... You see they already pulling our videos down. And I mean, it's obvious that that can happen. It's not far-fetched, you know. <laughs> it's, it's... I mean, I don't know. If you can't... Huh, if you can't see it, you ain't supposed to see it. All right? But anyway, back in Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. And uh, that's funny because the elders, this is what they keep saying. You should be occupied in prophecy. Like I always say, you should be prophesying and exhorting brothers. You know, trying to live, love your brother like you love yourself. Building your brothers up, man. All right? You know, like I said, we all get weak. We all fall. We all, you know, we all fall, fall short. 
but a righteous man uh, falleth, but get, gets back up, man. All right? And you seek the Lord even more, you know? You know, though, when, you, when you go off, that's to humble you. All right? If you were perfect, you wouldn't need the Lord. You were perfect. We ain't perfect yet. We, we, we fight. Hey, we give in diligence. We, you know, he that endures till the end. We fight, fighting for that crown. We, we fighting for that incor incorruptible body, that, that, that immor the immortality, man. The laws in our inward part. We fighting for that second covenant, man. All right? We trying to get that second covenant on the first go around. All right? You see what I'm saying? But anyway, it says, uh, 2 Ezra 15 and uh, 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, okay? Not whosoever, not God so loved the world and all this bullshit, okay? Yeah, Yahweh loved the world, the world of Israel, the world of Yasharala, all right? And right now, he only loves the elect, that, that cluster, all right? You know? It says, speak thou, in the, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. So that's a commandment, man, all right? So you're supposed to be out there pushing this truth, all right? Heralding it, heralding in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? You should be, this should, this should just be common sense, man. This is our heritage, all right? This is just common sense, you know? If it ain't in you, it ain't in you. It's part of the two-thirds. You can't, you can't fake this thing. You can't make yourself part of the elect, all right? It's either in you or it's not, it, you know? I was having a conversation with one of the brothers and I was really, you know, you shouldn't have to tell somebody to do videos. You shouldn't have to tell somebody. I mean, we, you have to say it, of course, but it comes to a point, especially the closer and closer we get. If you ain't in that mode, if, if you, you can't see what time it is, it, it ain't meant for you to see, man. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's obvious, man. You should, you should just know you should be in the spirit anyway. I don't know, you know. <laughs> I just think it's obvious, you know, we're getting this, it, it, the, hey, each day that passes, like I said, Yahweh, in Job, it says that, uh, you, you know, the Lord uh, put, Yahweh set the bounds, which, which this man can't pass, man, okay, so it's like a time, it's like an hourglass, like I said, and the, the, the sand is running out, all right, we don't know how much sand is in that hourglass, but we know that bitch is about empty, all right, you see? Anyway, it says, it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in, the, in thy mouth, saith the Lord. You see? And it's a simple thing. Because if the Lord is dealing with you, if you have faith, if you're sincere, the Lord is going to sup with you. All right? <laughs> and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And like I said, his word doesn't go out void. He's not a man that he shall lie. All right? Everything he said is going to come to pass. He said it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom, all right? So that's true. You just got to fight for your crown, all right? You see? What what did Paul say? He said, I had fought. Was that Paul? Yeah, it was Paul. Paul said, I had fought, I had fought a good fight, right? You know? Therefore, there's a crown laid up for me. I'm paraphrasing, you know? Henceforth, there's a crown laid up for me. I believe that was Paul, all right? It says, and cause them to be, and what did the Lord say? He's long-suffering, right? That all may come to repentance, all right? He wants to give us the kingdom, but you got to fight, man. You got to do your part, you know? It says, and cause them to be written in paper. You know, you, Salaki, I just, I just keep thinking about it. You just can't be stand, you know, because a lot of Jake believe, man. A lot of y'all believe. I know a lot of Jake believe, but they scared, and they, they don't have that faith to take that, that, that final, I don't know. You, but you being a napkin, the guard. You sitting on this truth. You watching the videos. You watching, but you ain't doing nothing with it. You see, the Lord is gonna to jack you up, man. Okay. You gotta. You get, that's part of that's that's part of having faith. Go works. Faith without works is dead. You gotta do things to prove your faith. How how can how can the Lord show that He got your back if you ain't doing nothing to show that He got your back? You gotta get in fucked up situations. You gotta fall. Call upon him, and then he'll show his power. He'll, you, you see what I'm saying? But you got to put yourself out there, okay? To show he, he, the Lord want to manifest. He, he uses the weak things, the, the meek, the, the, the lowly. Okay, I'm kind of going all over the place, man. But, hey, I'm being real. I'm just Because I, be, I do my videos for the sincere brothers, okay? And we the doors are drastically closing, all right? 
You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, hey, you gotta get out there, man. You gotta get out there. You gotta take this stuff more, you gotta start studying. If you don't, you, if you probably already know, because you've probably been watching. And if not, start really studying, man. You know? You can't love the world. You gotta put this world off, man. Alright? The, the scriptures say, uh, if any man love the love the world, the love the, the love of the Father is not in him. Okay? Alright? Uh, we in the world, of course, but you, we're not abusing the world. All right, these things are temporal. All right, it's just for it's temporary. Using the world, not abusing it. All right, our main priority, like the like the apostles are saying, is studying, building your faith up. First of all, you got to build your faith up before anything. Okay, you got to study. You got to uh, be fully persuaded in your own mind. Okay, and then what? You got to go out there and teach. Once you get built up. All right, but the first thing is you got to be fully rooted. And, and search the scriptures and, and, and see if the things are true. Be fully persuaded in your own mind. All right. And then you go out there and teach. And then you be the more, the longer you win it, the more your faith is going to be built. All right. Anyway, Salaki, I went on a little rant. Um, let's get back to the scriptures, man. And then I, I shut it down. All right. Because like I said, this, I, I know I was kind of off, but I, it, you know, it, it was just on my spirit, man. Cause we getting close, man. We getting super close. All right. Anyway, um, it says Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse one. It says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true." It says, "Fear not the imaginations against thee." So, for you brothers, man, that's getting weak and scared, don't worry about it, man. All right, all right. This is not our kingdom. We're gonna get our glory and, and, and our shine in the in the kingdom, man. You see. All these people that are scoffing at uh, scoffing at us and shit, they're going to be the lowest in the kingdom. They're going to be like dog shit, man. Okay, we're going to be the stars, you know. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. All right? Your mother, your father, your, 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 your wife, your, your co-workers, fuck them, man. Fuck them. It says, for all the unfaithful shall, shall die in their unfaithfulness. Okay? It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Hey, hey, that's coming, Jacob's trouble. I told you, a time like never before. All right? It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. And the ultimate plague is going to be that missile, those missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. But prior to that, like I said, martial law, all types of hell. Okay? Pestilence, you know, the CDC going to release all these fucking diseases. You know, it says, behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. OK, upon the world. All right. The sword, famine, death and destruction. OK, the sword. You could think about them race wars. You see, you see, it says for wickedness hath, ex hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. That's how we know we at the end. All right. With this damn uh, Malik yogurt, this whole Malik yogurt agenda. How, how they pushing it on the children, okay, you know, wickedness is just at an all-time high rate, man, all right, that do it, this, this, uh, wicked witchcraft spirit, that, that Alistair Crawley do as thou will, all right, why, because the earth is given into the hands of the fucking wicked, you red Hebrew Edomites, all right, or, 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 or as the brother said, you red Hebrew idiot mites, all right, because you're, you're the basis of men. All right, you're the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. You must be destroyed. It says, "For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth." Yeah, because the sins have reached up to heaven, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Exactly. What the hell can? What the hell is next, man? He done turn. He done turning men into women, women into men, little boys into little girls. He done turned everything upside down. Okay. He done said abominable foods are are righteous. You know, he's the, he's the, he done, he done covered the face of the judges. He done said he's the most high. What the hell else can he do? Okay. He done polluted the earth. He done polluted the water. Okay. He done, he trying to, he done put, trying to pollute the heavens. Okay. What, what the hell else can this man do? All right. It says for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah. You, you damn near done drank all the goddamn oil out of the damn uh, ground. Okay, you goddamn devils, all right? 
All right. So now we have an earthquakes in diverse places. Okay. Your, your works is fulfilled. Okay. Now you want to what? Set the Amazon on fire, you goddamn devils. Okay. It says, therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. And that's what I'm saying. We almost out of here. But it, it's, some, it's some things, man. It's order to things. Okay. It's, it's some steps. It's things that have to take place before we get out of here. Okay. Like I said, i.e. Jacob's trouble. Okay. The economy has to collapse. This fiscal currency. So in order for the for the for this cashless society be, to be implemented, that's why you see the five G towers going up. You see, that's why everything is being connected to the internet and the cloud. They want to connect you to the fucking cloud, okay? So they can so that you can't buy or sell, okay? Which is the market that we broken records, man. You already know what's up, all right? Everything that we say is gonna to come to pass. Then they shall know a prophet have been amongst them, all right? Like I keep that seek the Lord while he may be found. This ain't a fucking game. Okay? You're gonna wake up one day and you're gonna fucking wish you listened. When you got when you're fucking roasting your goddamn children over over a fucking Christmas fire, okay? You can eat, you know, contemplating which one of your children you're gonna eat. Cause read the scriptures, it happened before. Okay, it's gonna happen again. Alright? It says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. All right, you since you love to fucking eat abominable foods, fucking eat your goddamn children. Since you want to sacrifice your children to Molech anyway, fucking eat them. Okay, it's only right. All right, you want to eat shrimp, lobster, swine. Okay, all these abominable goddamn foods. Okay, you want to be a damn Malik yogurt. You know. You know. It says, "I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness." Which they profanely commit, yeah. Scoffing at the prophets, mocking us, okay? Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves, all right? So the fun and fun land is going to come to a, a drastic end, okay? It says, Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me. Exactly, just like Abel. When Cain, which if you can receive it, is the same spirit that's on these damn red Hebrew Edomites, okay? When he killed his brother, he cried out to, cried out to Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Okay, just like all of all of us, all of because every time a Jake get gunned down, you go back. Whenever you die, you go back in the spirit world, and you in your right fucking mind. All right, and you complaining to the Lord. Okay, all right, because in the heaven, in the spirit world, in heaven, all right, it's righteousness, man. And that's why the Lord said, let, let, let it be done, let, let it be done in heaven as it is on earth. All right? Right now the earth is out of order. So we're waiting for righteousness to reign upon the earth. All right? Which is when Jacob is ruling, because Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it, of it that followeth. All right? It says, Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right? And who are the just? The just shall live by faith. So who are the just, man? Who are the just? Okay. Who are the faith-based Israelites? All right. Who who's who, who's faithfully waiting on the how about you was shy? All right. Who's making their bodies living sacrifices? All right. Patiently waiting on us, waiting on the how about you was shy to rise us up to the prey. Okay. It says, and therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them. Hey, whoo, what did he say? He was going to recompense them swiftly, right? <laughs> shall you recompense me? And if you recompense me, I shall recompense thee swiftly. All right? He's going to pay you back, man. Double, you goddamn devils. Okay? It says, and therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Con, because according to, to the scriptures, what is that? Numbers? I think numbers or do I think it's in numbers. The, the blood, the land can't can't be cleansed. Uh, it can only be cleansed by the, the the blood that defiled it, man. Okay, you got the, the you know you got to That's the only way the, the the land can be cleansed by the people of the the, the it got to be cleansed by the, the the blood that shed it, man. Okay, it says, and therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. It says, behold, my people is led as flock to the slaughter. Khan, all right. It says, I will not suffer them, shall I get now to dwell in the land of Egypt. 
And we know according to Deuteronomy, he said we were going to go into Egypt again with ships, right? Egypt represents bondage, right? And we know that's rep that's talking about America, Babylon the Great, the whore that sitteth upon many waters, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, also Nineveh, okay? All them things, that's America, all right? It says, behold, my people is led as a flock to a slaughter. And that's both, both people, man, both kingdoms, northern and southern kingdom, okay? We were oppressed together. Judah and Israel were oppressed together in the land of the north, okay? It says, behold, my people is led as flock to the slaughter. And, and matter of fact, they oppress, we oppressed all over, man, by the heathens, all right? Okay? But chiefly over here in America, Babylon the Great, okay? It says, and it's going way longer than I wanted to, so lock you. It says, Behold, my people is led as flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Okay, so he's going to deliver us. Okay, it says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. It's, okay, because this is spiritual Sodom and Egypt. So he's going to put the plagues on this fucking place. Okay, as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn. And the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague, and the punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn it, for their seed shall fail through the blast, through the blasting and hail, and with fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe means destruction. So it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. That martial law. Uh, I mean, that, that uh, Salakia. That uh, ra the race wars, okay? Just wars in general. <laughs> Salakia. It says, For the swords and their destruction draweth nigh, meaning it's near. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition, uproars, that's what you're seeing, all right? Protests everywhere, okay? Especially once that famine hits, right? Really, when that famine of the word hits, you're really going to see uproars because there ain't going to be no more wisdom and stability. All right. People going to they're going to lose their minds, man. They're going to be looking for answers. All right. It says, for there shall be sedition amongst men and invading one another. It says they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall shall stand in their power. It says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Talking about that martial law. And people forget how Trump, I don't even know if he ever pulled the troops back from from the border, from Mexico. I don't know if he ever did that. You know, people people have a short-term memory. You hear about all these troops getting deployed all over the place. You hear about these uh, these uh, NATO trucks, uh, NATO, uh, you know, they, they, the, the military vehicles popping up all over the place. You know, the F the Walmart, the FEMA camps. People have short-term memory, okay? They don't, rem they, these things just didn't disappear. Okay, they're right there, ready and in, in, in place and waiting patiently. Okay, for the green light. All right, the legislation is laid. They they train it. You see them running the drills. You see that they run the drills all the time in Cali, in Florida. They run those drills. Okay, they re like we rehearse the righteous acts. That's what I forgot. <laughs> Yo, Salaki. I was gonna do a video on that. I'm, I'm gonna shut it down. I was gonna do a video on that actually. How we are supposed to rehearse the righteous acts? Esau's rehearsing the righteous acts, man. That's why they run their drills all the goddamn time. They're rehearsing the righteous acts. Yahweh, because we all, we're all, we're all actors in Yahweh Bashim Shai's movie. We all have our lots. We all have our roles, all right? And you best believe Esau is rehearsing the righteous acts. They're preparing for war, all right? The mighty men are. Anyway, Salakia, let, let me shut it down. It says, a man shall desire to go into a, go into a city and shall not be able. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. All right. And America is the most prideful country there is on the face of the earth. <laughs> OK, led by the by the stoutest, proudest uh, <laughs> eagle face, red Hebrew Edomite ever. <laughs> it says, for because of their pride. All right. And their pride and their terribleness have deceived them. It says, for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. Not just one city, cities, plural. Okay, shall be troubled, cause what? It's the time of Jacob's trouble, even the time of Jacob's trouble, right? But he shall be saved out of it, all right? For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Grown ass men, hearts are gonna fail them, all right? You're gonna in them days, we're gonna see who's really a man, okay? 
All right. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. All right. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. And what's the modern day sword? That gun. Okay. And ultimately the ultimate sword is the missile. All right. And spoil their goods. It says because of the lack of bread and for the great tribulation. All right. <laughs> Jacob's trouble. All right. So why would the Lord have it over and over in multiple places in the scriptures if it ain't going to take place? This common sense. All right. Uh, anyway, with that being said, Lord's willing to know is edifying. Um, and like I always say, man, we almost out of here. Keep pushing, man. Repent. Rehearse the uh, rehearse the righteous acts because Esau's rehearsing, rehearsing the wit. It's really the wicked act, but it's righteous, right? Because that's what's gonna. This war is how we're gonna get out of here. Okay. <laughs> so Esau's rehearsing and we rehearsing, right? Because all things are double double against each other. All right. We 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 doing things on the right hand side for you. How about you? How shy? Heralding him in, you know, getting our wedding garments right, you know, making sure our lamps are trimmed, and Esau doing their thing, all right? Because he, he, he's preparing to come down with great wrath because he know he got a short time, all right? That's why it's more important for you to get your sight, yourself right, all right? Seek the Lord while he, while he may be found, all right? Anyway, with that being said, Lord's one of those that are fine. Hey, we almost out of here. Shalom.